Yeah. And if you say, these are people who are doing well, if you see, you can put some infrastructure tax on us and say maybe 5,000 in a month. Everyone in this estate pay 5,000. Now, if you can do that in air, the money you gather from this estate, you can develop another estate and charge them infrastructure tax, collect more, and then do for other estate. You see that you are collecting more tax in, term, in, in the name of infrastructure tax, and you can build more uh, local areas like that. Ground rent, the Ground rent are not collected, exactly. Charges on toll roads could also be explored as option for property and land use management. Tourism. Tourism also leads to jobs and revenue, like what we are doing here. This is tourism for me. <laughs> we are creating jobs for people and creating revenue for people. Imagine that we are the ones attracting foreigners to come to Nigeria. These jobs, this revenue will come to Nigeria. In 2022, the international tourism receipts for Africa amounted to about $45 billion. Tourism Africa, $45 billion. Dollars representing five percent of global tourism receipt. So, out of hundred percent, Africa receive only five percent of the world tourism receipt, which is grossly inadequate and low. So, the most popular tourist destination in Africa are South Africa, huh? Kenya, Morocco, Kenya, Egypt, Tanzania. Well, I have this top five on my list. Yeah. Because tourists pay taxes. They also pay fees, especially visa fees, right? Airport taxes. These are all sources of revenue. So we can build on those, especially states that have this potential for tourism. But if you can build beautiful hotels and towers like this and clean environment, especially clean environment, uh, free of traffic, uh, free of insecurity, we can attract tourism. Because one of the major hindrances to Nigeria's tourism is security. Now, I talked about oil and gas. I also look at uh, agriculture. What about mineral resources? Mineral resources, optimizing the mining sector has more fortune than oil. Because we can get more money from mineral resources than we get from oil. So gold mining could be an option, especially. Because if we are transiting from oil, where are we going next? The world is moving toward gold, gold standard currency system. So any country with more gold will have more powers. So let's have a transition from oil to gold. I was, I was in the plane coming here with, a, I, I sat next to a Pakistani person. He said, my brother, Abuja, a lot of resources, Abuja, gold. You know, he was just ever exaggerating it. They are there in Abuja digging for iron and beryllium. And he told me, you know what, my brother, you guys, you have gold, a lot of gold in Abuja. He was shocked by what we have in the country, but we are not tapping from it. He was even lamenting, you guys, you don't know what you are doing. So this is someone from outside. So we can review and update the existing laws and regulations governing the mineral sector so that we can have a standard law, like the PIA that is governing the oil and gas. We can have a similar law that will govern the mineral resource sector. We should also create a one-stop shop for investors to obtain the necessary permits and approvals to operate in the sector. Now, if you are operating in the, mineral, in the mining sector, you pay this tax, you pay this person, you thought you are, you are free, someone will come and chase you again and again. There should be a regulatory body that is managing the mining sector in the country. We should also target solid mineral export to restore the value of Nera and encourage the development of the downstream industry. So we should not treat the mineral sector like the oil sector, where you produce the, the crude, but we are not producing the refined petroleum. So we should also process the mineral resources, not just exporting the, the, the commodities. We should also invest in geoscience data to know where we have these resources. Yesterday we saw the map of all the natural resources we have. We can do more to improve on exact estimation of the quantities of these reserves. And we should build the capacity of local skilled workforce for the sector. Now, why do we have to import a Pakistani person to work in the mining sector? Our people should be skilled enough to harness to do the mining themselves. Now, these people, they will start cheating the country and on their Estimating or understating the reserves. So we should have we have to build the manpower. 
like we did in oil and gas. Most of us, we got scholarship to study abroad to, to enhance our knowledge skill in the oil and gas sector because we have the resources. So we should sponsor people to study abroad too, to build their skill in the mining sector. So we should also be thinking of mining sector. Entertainment is one of our comparative advantage. Uh, last presenter yesterday talked about it. The Nigerian entertainment industry generated an estimated 2.3 trillion naira in 2022. Entertainment, 2.3 trillion naira in 2022. And this is a significant increase from 1.7 trillion in 2021. So building and investing and providing the infrastructure and support to the entertainment industry could also help with that. User charges and fees. I started talking about that one. State government, this is more at local governments, especially states and local governments. So state government can implement reasonable user charges and fees for public services like waste disposal, parking, recreational facilities.